we saw in the last video how to derive the force balance equations for a continuum in equilibrium. Now, to truly have equilibrium, we must also guarantee that the moments balance. We will need to show that the moments balance by taking the moments about all three axes, x1, x2, and x3. Let's start with x3. Make sure to specify your coordinate system so you do not confuse the positive and negative moments. Remember that to take the moment, we multiply the force by the moment arm. To get that expression, we will have to multiply the stress component we have by the area to get the force, then we need to multiply the force by the moment arm to get the moment. Keep in mind that when the force is parallel to the axis we are considering, the moment will be zero. The same will happen when the line of action goes through that axis. This helps us simplify the balance equation a little bit. Please feel free to pause at any time to check your understanding. As you may recall from your general physics course, the moment arm will change depending on the force we are considering. Along the x3 axis, we want to consider all stresses not acting along the x3 axis. This means that we will consider sigma 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1, and 3, 2. Furthermore, we will only care about the body forces 1 and 2. The moment arms will be the perpendicular distance to the x3 axis. For instance, the moment arm for sigma 1, 1 will be dx2 divided by 2, since sigma 1, 1 is halfway between 0 and dx2 away from x3. Assume body forces are applied from the center of the cube. Then remember to pick the positive and negative directions on your coordinates to assign positive or negative values to the moments. To simplify this long expression, divide through by dx1, dx2, dx3, which is the volume. Then take the limit as dx1, dx2, and dx3 approach zero. You will notice that some terms are of order dx, such as the body forces, but others are not. As a result, the long expression simplifies to sigma 1, 2 equals sigma 2, 1. When you take the moments about x1 and x2, you end up reaching very similar results. You learn that sigma 2, 3 equals sigma 3, 2, and that sigma 1, 3 equals sigma 3, 1. Essentially, although these components mean different things, when one equals another, they are numerically equal. This gives us the result from the moment balance or equilibrium. What we find from this investigation is that the moment balance for a continuum in equilibrium requires that the stress is symmetric. Thus, we can further affirm that the stress tensor is symmetric for a continuum in equilibrium. But as it turns out, in biomechanics, even when continuums in the body are not in equilibrium, the stress tensor is still symmetric. This is mostly because we cannot have localized spinning movements in our bodies. But hey, this should make things very easy to remember, so enjoy this fun fact, and I will see you next time. <laughs>